Good morning, folks. We've got a number of stories to get to today, including some fascinating discoveries from nearby and very far away. Let's get started with our star over at spaceweathernews.com. The last 24 hours on the sun brought the northern coronal hole and incoming plasma filament closer to center disk. They are primarily in focus due to the lack of sunspots, and therefore major solar flares and resulting CMEs are absent as well. The filament we saw incoming the last two days actually has a tremendous amount of distance to her. Look at how far it stretches as it turns into view, about eight Earths long. Meanwhile, back here in geospace, things are settling nicely. No intensifications followed yesterday's phi angle shift in the solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are quiet this morning. It is unclear whether the departed openings will offer intensified solar wind here today or tomorrow. And the same goes for this one later this week. It may not have the equatorial open fields requisite to intensify the plasma field at this heliographic latitude. Let's come down to the ground where following the deadly volcano eruption and avalanche in Japan, they are noting more mountains to the north increasing activity, and fast. Following up the ultra-rare Moroccan snow event, third year in a row after 40 years without it, by the way, Across the continent, it struck Saudi Arabia, one of the hottest places on Earth. Home of the sun's anvil is now covered in white. Tough to believe here and the Sahara were both covered in snow this season. Folks, in about 24 hours is the lunar eclipse. White zones on the sides won't see it, but everyone in the colored areas in the middle here will. Americas get a view in the morning just before sunrise, looking west, while Australia and New Zealand pretty much just get to look up, provided you do it at the right time. Many of you have heard about the drought in South Africa. Zero day is approaching in Cape Town as its water reserves dwindle down to nearly nothing. Up next, we have an incredible article claiming that one late lunar impact is polluting all the other sites and data, and that the late heavy bombardment actually happened much, much earlier, along with the quieting down of the solar system. This is interesting because they say the nice model of our solar system, the ones where Neptune and Uranus switched places, must have happened to cause the chaos, again, much earlier than expected. FYI, if you're one of the individuals interested in the Mercury pile-up theories, the inner system chaos, destroyed planet in here, etc., that would have happened after this. Top story today is about a binary system a few hundred light years away, HR 4796. Just like last night's Sirius and Star Cluster video, a few years ago they had to obscure the starlight to try to see what's around it. Well, after that, a dust ring encircling the binary system became visible and is now one of the most studied, most photographed, and most well understood dust structures in the universe. Well, maybe not so much until last night. You see, the dust ring is just the beginning. An enormous dust cloud acting as an even larger belt around the system can be seen extending over a thousand AU away from the system, which puts its diameter at well over 2,000 AU. That is a lot of material whose effect has been blamed on dark matter due to it not being visible, not being discovered until recently. And remember, dust blocks the detection of ions, electric currents, and sometimes even magnetic fields. While we're on this topic, another professor jumps ship and begins investigating what to do given that dark matter isn't being found and every search in theory has been a dismal failure. Rotational dynamics of galaxies without the magic material. The sun, weather, earthquakes, cosmology, GMOs, spraying the sky, and more, all at a layman's level. Registration for observing the frontier ends tomorrow. We've got your world of wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.